Hi friends, today I will show you how to install ReactJS on Windows. Okay. So what is the requirements is you need to install Node.js on your system. So let's install Node.js. Let's open your Google. So open the official website Node.js. So I am using a uh, Windows and 64 bit. So I am choosing this one 64 bit. I am choosing the long term support. Okay. So let's download this one. So download is finished. Let's install this one. So click on run. Next, you have to accept the license agreement and click next. So I am choosing the C drive. Click next. And click on install. Okay, as you can see, Node.js has been successfully installed. Click on finish. Now let's what is the second step is so let's check Node.js is successfully installed or not. Okay. So open command prompt CMD no hyphen V. Okay. And uh, we can also check NPM is successfully installed or not. Okay. So as you can see both are successfully installed. So the next step is we need to install react.js. Okay. So I'm creating a new folder here. React app. Inside here I'm opening command prompt. Okay. So what is the step is to install to create react.js application we need to install this plugin install g hyphen react app okay let's copy this one npm paste okay it will take some time to install this plugin okay as you can see the plugin is successfully installed now using this plugin we will create our react app okay copy paste so this is the plugin name okay react react app so using this plugin we are creating our react application this is the name of the application okay my iPhone react iPhone app is the application name okay let's create this as you can see it is creating a new react app so as you can see guys it will take a lot of time and we can see the application is created okay so let's go into that application So this is the application name. So we can start this application by using npm start. Okay. So first time it will ask for some firewalls. Okay. You have to allow the access. So as you can see, the application is loaded and it is listening on localhost port 3000. Okay. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Stay safe. See you again.